Welcome to example number five. This one we're going to start moving towards the endurance side of things. So we've gone through the strength and we've done muscular endurance. Now it's pure endurance training. And we're going to have a look at what that kind of program looks like. The idea behind endurance training is we're using up to roughly 40% of our strength. So not anywhere near our maximum strength is going to be used. But what will happen is we're going to do many, many repetitions of this. So this type of training is much more towards the aerobic type of thing rather than anaerobic. That means that we're going to be looking at doing a lot less weight and a lot more repetition. So in this example, it is going to change completely. We would still do our warm up and that would be something that is potentially very, very easy. So even if in this example, we would be doing normal pull ups for the warm up, what I would suggest actually is to look at pure mechanics only. And instead of using the red, which would start to fatigue your muscles slightly, I would go to blue or green. This way, you're not going to be fatiguing yourself at all. All you're going to be doing is the repetition of mechanics. For this, again, not very many reps, not very many sets, because you really want to prepare yourself for having to do a lot of work in the training. The program would consist of two reps, of two sets of using the blue band, and then we would move into doing the work sets. Now, the way this one works is in this example, if I was to give somebody an endurance based training, we would do something which is called the AMRAP. And an AMRAP means as many repetitions as possible. OK, so what would happen is we would time ourselves for one minute and then we would give ourselves one minute rest in that minute of work you are going to do as many repetitions as you can of good high quality pull ups. So you just keep going until that timer stops. Once the one minute is done, you then get one minute only of rest. This means that you're going to start feeling that lactic acid build up very, very quickly. You'll also find that because you're working very, very hard to get as many repetitions in, your lungs are going to start getting oxygen deprived and you're going to find it harder to breathe. Now, you could set the limits in as many ways as you like. For example, you could do this for 20 minutes. That means that you would, act, you would have 10 sets of doing as many repetitions in each set and then 10 minutes or so of rest. As you can imagine, what is going to happen is at the beginning, you will do pretty much your best and you will have the maximum number you would possibly have up front. As you become more tired, the endurance is going to start affecting you. Your lactic acid is going to affect you. The oxygen is going to affect you and the numbers are going to decrease overall. As you get to the end of the 20 repetitions or the 20 minutes or however you want to do the session, what would then happen is you would add up all of the repetitions. So the total volume of work that you did overall. And what you can do is in your program, every, every session or every week or whenever you want to do this type of training, you would try to increase the volume little bit by little bit. So instead of having to add weight, what you're doing is you're increasing repetitions. So you don't need to do any more extra weight with the weight belt. All you have to do is count out the volume. Let's say over 20 minutes, you manage to get 200. You manage to do 200 repetitions on the next training session. You could aim for 201. Then you can aim for 202. And in this sense, you are going to start to find out whether your endurance is increasing or not. As your slowly increased goal raises, you can then see a definite way of increasing your endurance. You are able to do more work with the same amount of rest and the same amount of time. 
Endurance training is a fantastic way of training because within parkour and especially movement training, when you are going through a route, you are going to start finding that the ox oxygen deprivation and your lactic acid buildup is gonna slowly increase. If you've done endurance type training, you are able to sustain that for longer. You can go for longer, you can train for longer. It means that you are able to do things for a much, much longer period of time than you normally would. So overall, a endurance-based type training is something you should throw in at least every now and again. If you're not used to it, you'll find that by extending the number of reps and lowering the weight, you are going to find that you're going to be able to translate it into many other types of training in parkour and movement.